I'm Gemma and I am number one Christmas. Today I'm going to take you back to Mrs. Claus kitchen and show you how to put together a tiered tray. Now, when you have multiple items within one theme, you need decorative pieces that tie them all together. Mrs. Claus kitchen is not only about candy and gingerbread, but elves and baking and a little bit of chaos. In this piece, we're going to have multiple items on each tier that add to that chaotic nature of the theme. This is quite a small tray, so it's not going to have a lot of items on it. I wanted a small piece that sat in the back of the kitchen so that I could work around with other items. Now for the bottom of the tray, I'm going to start with this gorgeous little wooden sign. So just a gingerbread bakery sign. And I'm not too concerned where it's going at the moment because as you add items, you're going to need to do some shuffling. The next piece that I'm going to add in is this gorgeous little hot chocolate cup. As you can see, it's got little biscuits, little peppermints and little hot chocolate. I'm going to pop this in the back. The next piece, and this is one of the pieces that ties the items together, is a little cup with one of the fireworks in. So if anyone has watched Floss's Vixing Bowl, you'll note there's a couple of these fireworks, which are just made out of red and white pipe cleaners. These little cups are gorgeous, very cute. I think they came with some hot chocolate mix in them. But for this size tiered tray, they're perfect. So I'm just gonna sit him behind the sign. You can see what I mean around, about moving things around a little bit. In that cup, I'm actually going to add this lovely little glass lollipop. And I'm also just going to sit just a little clay gingerbread house just in front of the coffee cup there. And the other items, just to go with the baking, are these beautiful little uh, silver uh, star cookie cutters. So what I'm going to do is actually just sit them up and about. And do you know what? I'm actually going to move that gingerbread house over to this other side here. You can see you will play around with some of these items as you go. Now that's got quite a lot on it already. Now I'm mindful that I haven't actually decorated the back. This is going into a corner in my kitchen, so I'm not too concerned. But what I will do is add a couple of small pieces. So just these red and white cookie cutters. And this little cupcake. That way, if anyone sees the back, it looks as though it has some items added to it. We've got a couple of little candy canes. Just again to go within that candy baking theme, we're just going to pop them in and around. So to start on the second tier, what I'm going to do is grab another one of the wooden signs. This time it's a hot cocoa sign. I'm going to pop that on a slightly different angle to the one down the bottom. We've got another one of those cups with the firecrackers. This time we've got a little reindeer and we're going to put him on the opposite side to the Santa. The next item we're going to grab is just our little another little clay house gingerbread house. I'm actually going to pop him just here and then what would a tear tray be without something hanging over the edge? So this is just a gorgeous little dangly legged Santa. And we're going to sit him on the bottom here with his legs dangling over the edge. Just to add the tiers together, just another one of the star shaped cutouts. And then we've got this little glass lolly that I've had for a while. I don't know where I got it, I've only got the one. So I'm just going to add him just sitting behind the house. Now again, that's looking pretty good. 
The back's not decorated, so I've just got a couple more candy canes and a couple more little cupcakes to pop in the back behind. So you can see through this piece here, you can see through this piece that I've actually got a bit of a design happening. So if you can take a closer look, we've got a diagonal with our firecracker and our cups. We've also got a diagonal with our glass lollies. We've got slightly offset wooden signs and we also have a diagonal with our gingerbread houses. So the top piece is going to be where one of the kitchen elves feature. So this is Sherman, Floss's brother, and he's going to sit just nicely on the top. Now, I am going to just rearrange his legs a little. We're just going to have him just crossing his legs over as though he's sitting there nicely waiting to go baking. Now, he's going to be baking with this wooden spoon. So what we're going to do is just pop it in behind him. Now to tie the pieces together, I've got one last firecracker left. So what I'm going to do is actually sit it up, coming out behind Sherman. Just manoeuvre it so that it's underneath him a little bit. Now this piece is a beautiful piece. It is an ornament that has a Christmas recipe on the front and I will just show you. Gorgeous glitter all around. Now, this one is Christmas pudding. Um, there was multiple recipes and it does have glitter that comes off. Um, I picked Christmas pudding because I think it's one of my favorites and I probably have half a chance of making it. But let's be honest, I'm gonna be so busy decorating that I'm probably not going to, but it's one of my favorites anyway. So what I'm going to do is actually add this just in the Floss's hand, just on a bit of an angle. So it looks like he's grabbed the recipe, he's grabbed his spoon and he's ready to bake and cause some chaos in the kitchen. To tie the tears in again, just going to go with another little gingerbread house on the corner. We've got one of the little cupcakes which will sit behind. Just going to adjust that firecracker. And then we've got a couple more little candy canes that we'll just place around the top. And we may even stick one on Sherman's hand. So there you have it, a tiered tray, which is fairly easy to pull together. If you would like to see more of these items, come together over the next couple of months and many, many more themes, please like and follow Number One Christmas either on Facebook or Instagram, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and be notified whenever our videos are uploaded. I look forward to seeing you again. And if there are any decorating tips or ideas you would like me to run through in future videos, please flick me a message via Facebook or Instagram. I look forward to hearing from you and seeing you again soon. Thanks.